Greetings from Cycling74. We're here today to show and talk about the new interface synth modules from Little Bits. The W18 CV module, the W5 MIDI module, and the W27 USB audio interface. We're really excited about these modules because they expand what's possible with the Little Bits system into an integrated experimenters kit for musicians and sound designers. The first thing we did with our Little Bits interfacing modules was put them in the hands of some Max users to see what would happen. Darren Gross, Corey Metcalf, and Sarah Richter met with a group of visual programming students to have a Little Bits hack day. The result was pretty exciting. The students built systems that used video processing, audio sensing, physics modeling, and control voltage generation to create integrated multimedia systems. This was where we began to see the interesting things that could come from tying together the Little Bits environment with more traditional media hacking tools. When we saw it was possible, we decided to create a couple of systems that we could share with you. The first is a video theremin. It uses color tracking to read the location of a uniquely colored item and then translates that location information into data that can run a Little bit synthesizer. In this case, we use two W27 USB audio interfaces to control the pitch and filtering of the synthesizer in a smooth, theremin-like way. This Max Patch, along with a complete description of the Little Bits construction, is available on the Cycling74 website. Darwin is into modular synthesizers, so he decided to see how he could integrate both Max 7 and the Little Bits system into his modular rig. He ended up using all three interface bits to create a tempo detector from his modular to his computer, and using that information to create a tempo-synced LFO that is sent back to the modular. This gives him a full round-trip system that allows him to control his computer and other little bits directly from a synthesizer. The Max patches that Corey and Darwin created, along with the videos explaining how to set them up, are available on the Cycling74 website at www.cycling74.com slash littlebits. We are so excited to see Korg and LittleBits coming together to create these synth modules. The addition of the new interfacing bits creates amazing opportunities for signals to flow seamlessly between traditional hardware, software, and hand electronics. 